Hello everyone, I have Tori with me. This is my son's girlfriend, my middle son's girlfriend, and we are here to finish our canvases. So this is the one, covering your face, sorry. <laughs> Cover my face. This is the one I bought her, <laughs> and she started the background uh, Friday night, and so it's Sunday now. We're gonna see if we can finish these up and have a good time. Okay. All right, so now I did all the little round snow parts except for, I forgot this guy's face, but I was kind of out of time. So now he doesn't, he doesn't really match. I didn't notice for a second. So hopefully I can come up with a matching color. And all the dried paint just peeled right out of here, which is good. I have this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's very good. <laughs> Yeah, see, it, mine oh, wow. peeled, peeled out just like that. That's really cool. It just peels out. But yeah, it's dried up, sadly. What did your picture look like? Here. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I didn't want the pink background. It looked weird yeah. to me, so I made it my doesn't own. doesn't fit snow. Exactly. All right. I got rid of my snowflake, everybody. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> I had Cheater. Got, I got tired of it. <laughs> tired of painting around the snowflake? Yes, this one was the hardest. Yeah, that's a lot of snowflake there. Oh jeez, I did this all wrong already. Put the dot in the middle and then I shouldn't have because I needed my hand right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so question, should I paint the snowflakes white? Or do you think it's fine? Oh yeah, I would okay. paint them white. Great, here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I need the, this is the small brush. <laughs> you need a smaller brush. I have a whole bunch of brushes out here. If one of these might work better. That one. That one? Yeah. Kay. I think. They came with the acrylic paint that I reviewed. Oh. In one video. Here's a, some real tiny ones that came with paint by numbers. Oh, wow. So if you need even smaller. Why they're still out on my desk? Don't ask. I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> so Tori and I had some, I'm sure, very exciting conversation and we recorded it all live. And what I've decided to do is just put up an extra video for you guys of our real time footage. So if you want to put it on while you are painting or doing laundry or the dishes or cooking dinner that night and just kind of listen to us chat, then that's available for you. It'll be released about an hour after this video and hopefully it's interesting for you, I have no idea. But yeah, it's two and a half hours of footage because this took a long time and you'll find out at the end here, spoiler alert, we did not finish our paintings, but I do have something exciting for you at the end, so definitely stay tuned. But you can see we are working consistently, diligently, we don't stop working and <laughs> the whole two and a half hours we still don't finish our paintings, but it was fun. It was a great get together time for us and we had a good time. And just in case this is your first video you're joining me on, these are like a paint canvas kit that you can get at Michael's, which is a local arts and crafts store. Well, local, it's not local to me. I had to drive out of town to get this, but anyway, I happened to be in there. These were 50% off. These were $4.99 at the time. They came with the design. They came with the wrapped canvas. They came with the acrylic paint, three very nice paint brushes, and the little plastic palette you're seeing us use on our canvases there. So pretty good deal for $4.99. So I am challenging myself to use just the paint that came in the kit. And Tori was doing the same. However, we do switch out her paint at the end. She needs some better browns. And you can mix browns pretty easily. Well, I won't say easily. You can mix browns just fine with the colors that came in the kit. But for a beginner artist, just having some pre-done browns like burnt sienna, raw umber, burnt umber, those kind of things, is just easier. So she does switch out and use the Chocola acrylic paint that I reviewed in an earlier video, which I will link for you guys. Because that paint is actually quite nice. It reminds me almost exactly of the Liquitex Basics paint. And I kept it. I put it in my acrylic drawer and it was great because I pulled it out. And you can see she actually made a really good brown there. And then it went a little bit lavender colored, which is fine for the antlers. But she puts it on, not fully happy with the color. 
and we do end up switching it out to the Chocola acrylic paint. And just because your reference photo shows you certain colors and whatnot does not mean you have to follow them. My reference photo showed like a red bird and two kind of dark gray blue birds and a red, well, reddish pink background and I didn't want to do that. I also had black eyes in my reference picture and I gave my snowmen blue eyes. I just thought that suited them better. They're happy, friendly, and the eyes in the reference picture on the canvas kit just kind of looked dead and I didn't want dead looking eyes. So I made blue eyes with black pupils and I got them little sparkles. I did do their little mouths black, however. So just changed all the colors up and made it suit what I wanted it to be. Also, if you go and watch the live where we're not cutting out footage or zooming it, <laughs> zooming it, <laughs> speeding it up is what I mean to say, you can hear our conversations about the difference in her reference photo versus what was actually printed on the canvas. She had a curved antler over on the right side of her canvas that did not show up in her little reference picture. So she was kind of struggling to figure out how that fit in and how she should paint it. But figured it out. I think it looks great at the end and we just made it work. So yeah, your reference photos are really just for reference. They are not something you have to follow exactly as we all probably know. Anyway, I do have an update on the diamond painting at the end because I started that project, actually finished that project in that last video. And now I want to show you how I'm going to deal with it and actually get it to a form that I can hang it on the wall because it is December and it's a Christmas scene. And so are these actually kind of Christmassy, snowman, wintery. So we do need to finish these up and we will. I think she was going to come over tonight, but she is on call. She does snow plowing <laughs> for the county. And so she was called out super early this morning. It's probably at home resting or sleeping at this point. So we'll get her over here again eventually and finish these up. But for now, they remain unfinished, but it's okay. They will, they will get finished. And even if it's a little late in this season, I mean, it's still gonna be weeks before Christmas, so we'll still be able to enjoy them, but we will put them away in our tubs and pull them out again for next year. So all is not lost. So I am curious if you guys get these kind of canvas kits ever, do you follow the reference photo to the letter? Do you do your own thing? Do you add the shading and highlights like I have? My reference photo was very flat. There was no real good shading or highlights. And so I definitely wanted to change that in mind. But do you, yeah, do you guys follow it exactly? What do you guys do? Let me know in the comments below. It is about at this point that Tori and I were pretty sure we were gonna turn into pumpkins. You guys know that reference. <laughs> so I added up all the footage and I'm like, oh yeah, we've been at it for two and a half hours. So no wonder we're tired, our backs hurt. <laughs> we should have worked on easels. What were we thinking? Why were we not working on easels? But anyway, this is about as far as we get. But again, remember, I have more for you at the end of this video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Oh my goodness. Well, we're that far. All right, that's it for today. Bye. 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 <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> Since we have still not finished our paint by numbers, crazy. I know, but it is what it is. I thought maybe you would want to see how I mount this. Uh, if I can mount this, we're going to find out. First things first, you can see it's very folded and kind of creased. And by my research, I was supposed to have ironed it before I started putting all these diamonds on it or beads or ABSs or whatever the heck they're called. But I didn't, because I didn't know anything. So I have a little towel and this could be interesting. We're gonna lay the towel down, lay this down with the plastic still on it because I don't know, the little beads or diamonds or what are they called? Should be enough to cover the glue. Lay a towel over it and yeah, it's, it's just a rag towel. Oh, it's already moving everywhere. Okay, I felt that move a lot, hang on. We're okay. I doubt I need this plastic because of the beads already being on it, but I don't know. We're gonna play it safe. Oh, and from comments from you guys, the Add More Zest YouTube channel is the one that I looked at for inspiration on how on earth to do this. 
So thank you for that comment. It is a fun channel if you like diamond painting, that's for sure. And she tried this and she said steam was best. I have it on the steam cotton setting, but I don't know what I'm doing. How often do I iron? Never. I own an iron. <laughs> I iron when I have to, but I don't like it. Let's see what it looks like without the towel on top. Ooh, it is flattening. Diamonds are still fine. I could probably take this off because I don't I don't have glue that I have to worry about. You only have to leave this on when you have glue you have to worry about. I'm going to iron directly on it and probably cause all kinds of problems. Ooh, that is working, you guys. I did not think this would work. <laughs> Since I did it after the fact, after I put the little bead things on, I thought this would be a total disaster, but I think this is working. All right, let's flip it over and see if they are intact. Ooh, they are intact. Oh, and it's flat and beautiful. Well, that was a success. Now we just have to mount this. I'm gonna iron it one more time, just to be safe. Oh, I'm so relieved, because that was really folded up and kind of a disaster. Yeah, beautiful. Let me unplug my iron before I forget. I keep saying that weird. I don't know why the word iron is so hard to say, but just an iron. All right, now I have this self-stick art needlework mounting board. Just press on. <laughs> this stuff is so old. I remember using this, I don't know, a long time ago. And this is just some of the extra that I found in my grandma's house. I used to have my own, but I did use it all when I was mounting some cross stitch pieces that I finished for my mom and my mother-in-law back in the day when I still thought I liked cross stitch. I don't anymore. So what we can do is just, we can actually cut this. Some people do cut them, some don't. I don't know that I actually have a frame that is a 30 by 30. So if I did, you could maybe mount this inside the frame without cutting it, but if you don't, you cut it and then you put it on some kind of board. And if you don't have this self sticky board, then you use a spray adhesive. Let me go look for a frame real quick, just to be sure that I don't have one. Otherwise I'll see if this is even sticky enough after all these years to hold it. Otherwise I will get a sticky spray. Okay, if I have a frame this size, I can't find it. So we are gonna take my little cutter thing and see if we can cut a straight line here or not and see how that goes. I don't know if this cutter will actually cut through this, but we're going to find out. Did it? Almost. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. I just needed to press a little harder in the middle there. Probably better just to use scissors. I don't know. I really don't want to use scissors so that that black line doesn't show. I don't know, I think I like the idea of the cutter, actually. <laughs> okay, wish me luck here. Push hard, go across it many times, and it still didn't cut in the middle. How evil. All right, and apparently it was out of whack. Well, that's not gonna be a straight line at all, which is kind of a bummer. I wonder, if you're probably gonna be able to tell try this again and see if we can get it to cut in the middle. That would be so much easier. It's got a fairly new blade in it too, so. Ah, I see. So the, obviously, you guys are probably screaming at me knowing this already. That ruler lid is hitting the little beads, little diamonds, little whatever they're called and not being pushed down all the way. And that's the only reason it's not cutting through, but it is cutting through most of it which is actually kind of helpful, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> For the rest of it. Ah! I mean, if I wasn't entertaining you today, who would be, right? Okay, that is so darn pretty, by the way. Now we need to cut this into the 30 by 30 centimeter square. This side, this side is a mess. I've made a mess of this side. I just don't know how to cut this and not waste a bunch. How does this sticky come off of this anyway? You just peel it. Oh, I ruined that corner. Don't use that corner. I think it's this side. Okay, that would make sense. Remove backing, expose adhesive. Okay, ooh, alrighty. 
it's still somewhat sticky. So let me go ahead and make a line. I was just going to peel it off and cut later, but I think I can make a line now and maybe waste less of it. And I can use the rest for smaller pieces or something. If I can cut that bottom line, Okay, it's okay. Don't panic. It's, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I do not know what I'm doing. Okay. It does still feel plenty sticky, so maybe this will work. Okay, it's working. I just don't have a great square going on. And people are coming home. Okay, so I need a little bit wider over here. It's okay. I'm just going to cut off another quarter inch. Even if it wastes a little bit, that's okay. Bottom. Bottom seems okay. And just push, push, push. Alright, because this adhesive backing is so old, I have no idea how long this is going to stick for. Plus my diamond painting wasn't completely flat to start with, but I'm going to give this a little time to sit on here just for good measure. I'm taking the marble rolling pin I inherited from my mama. Rolling over this. Wow, that's loud and bumpy. Probably because these are huge. So I don't even know if it's getting most of these because some of these beads are really big. So I still have a couple of raised areas there and there. I don't, oh man, I've got like a whole air bubble. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I did a very good job. Oh man, look at that. Oh dear. I mean, contact spray adhesive would probably have been a better choice, but we'll see. If I can cut this out successfully and hang it, we will be okay. So now we need an exacto knife. Where is that? We have straight edge ruler that is way too long. Table that is all warped. Oh, the knife that is dull. Okay, it's working not at all. Mom. What? Use this one. It's got a fresh blade. Okay, I don't want to cut through my table. <laughs> <laughs> this has a fresh blade. Okay. Relatively fresh. I mean, I've cut a few things with it. But... Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that's way better. See? Probably cutting through my rag. So good. Okay, oh, my knife. Wait, ruler is way too big. So, here-ish. That looks pretty straight. Straight as someone on Friday. <laughs> oh man, I moved the ruler. No, you cut the ruler. Oh man. <laughs> I don't think this is... I didn't get deep enough because it's not sticking in places. This is stressful. Okay, so this is like eighth inch thick backer board. It's not sticking. It's because it's like 20 hundred years old. All right. 20 hundred? Yeah. I remember this stuff around when I was a kid. <laughs> Bend it or turn it? Rotate it. Yeah, we cut through the rag, but not the table, so that's good. That's fine. What rags are for, right? They need to be smaller, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty. It'll work. See, it's not sticky. Oh, yeah, you're, you're getting deep there. Oh, okay. <gasps> you did it. And look, you didn't even cut through all of it that time. Just some of it. Just a little bit. Some of it. It's fine. Look at that! Now I just can hang it. <laughs> so pretty. Wish I had a frame for it. And it's stuck, it's just not, it's not perfect, but... Sweet! Now we gotta find a place for it. I have command strips. Command strips are good. Oh, we have kind of a crooked line there. You wanna see if you can perform magic over there? Remember kids, always cut toward yourself. <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> Pretty good? Pretty good. Straight-ish. <laughs> Straight adjacent. <laughs> Wait, 
if you can get rid of that cardboard looking part right there, then I think we'll be, oh, and right here, we'll be set. Oh my god. This is where sandpaper comes in, Mom. Well, you can cut like, I don't know what I'm saying, but you can fix it. Okay, now when you look down the side, you don't see cardboard. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> A little fuzz. I think some scissors can't take care of. Perfect. There. There. Now we go hang that. I wish I had a red frame. That would be so pretty. I'll have to look for one, maybe. Okay. It's a good thing I washed my hands. <laughs> You're right. This is very white. It is. All right. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Here we have beautifulness. We'll use command strips and go hang this on the wall somewhere. I have no idea where. Maybe tomorrow. All right. Hair got pulled back. Things got serious there for a minute, but... We ran out of time, and this is all we got done <laughs> for this video. It is Monday night. You see this video Tuesday morning. I have this so cute. It's mounted, not framed, but it's mounted. We have two yet unfinished paint by numbers. I will still keep you updated on the progress of those because I know Tori wants to come back over and finish hers for sure before we get too far into December. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had fun because I sure did. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's not on time lapse, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> My hair tucked in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, which hand? Okay, that's what I'm always like. Which so I guess I kind of know it's reverse because I'm always confused which hand yeah, is no, there. Yeah, no, weird. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get just a tiny bit. Should hey. I put uh, This isn't watercolor. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're so used to watercolor. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just want to steal you. She's so cute. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> they're kind of like they're really tired but they still want to play <laughs> he just bit his own foot that was funny <laughs> uh.